day there was a big thing about Pretty Patel um, this morning. And this is not like an isolated case for Pretty Patel. She's so shit. I mean, I used to say like Theresa May was so ferociously bad at her job. I used to describe her as the embodiment of the Peter Principle, which if you don't know the Peter Principle, it's this idea that you, me, everyone, we always get stuck in the job that we're shit at. And the reason for that is if you're a good estate agent, you get promoted to estate agent team leader. And then if you're good at that, you get promoted to estate agent manager. And then you're doing slightly different things. And then if you're good at that, you become area manager. But then if you're shit at area manager, you won't get promoted to director. So you just stay at area manager. And that's the Peter principle. And I used to say that about Theresa May, but it's equally true of Pretty Patel. Um, and before anyone says, you know, why are you targeting female cabinet ministers? Well, it's also true of Matt Hancock and it's also true of uh, Therese Coffey. Um, and it's also true of Gavin Williamson. Although I don't know if it really applies to Gavin Williamson because I don't get the feeling that he was ever promoted into education secretary. I, I, I feel like doesn't he strike you as someone's sort of, you know, half retarded nephew? Or something, you know, I'll oh, give him a shot at it. He's all right. No, he won't fuck anything. He's he's fine. He's a little bit, you know, but he's all right. He's a safe parent, you know. I get the feeling he was given the job as a favour to his uncle. He's got that kind of vibe. Um. Anyway, Pretty Patel uh, is in the news. Um, And let's just go back through. I did, did a video on this this morning, but let's go back through her track record, right? Her employment track record is... Uh, even before she arrived in this cabinet, she was fired by Theresa May for doing dodgy deals over in Israel. Um, that is fact. Uh, I don't want to get drawn on a, a conversation about whether Israel were doing anything dodgy. I don't know. I honestly don't know enough about that whole uh, debacle, but I do know that she was fired. Um, you, you look back at the independent um, bullying, like the, the independent review into her behaviour in her office. So she's right. She's home secretary and she bullied someone so severely that it's on record that the guy had a fucking stroke on the floor. Paramedics called because of her behavior. And there's testimony like for people saying, yeah, she's a real bitch. She's she's a fucking monster. Um, you know, she's she's forthright and curt, even in formal, just regular formal occasions. She's not friendly to people. She's the, the only time she smiles is when she smirks. And that's not the same as a smile. So it's like, have you ever seen this woman like happy in an actual in a, in a situation that wasn't combative? Do you know what I mean? Because like if I'm happy, I'll smile at someone like, hey, good morning. How you doing, man? That's a smile. That's a happy person. When you see Pretty Patel enter the number 10 briefing, and she does a little evil smirk. That is a combative, um, uh, malicious. Is that too strong a word? But it's like, it's not coming from a good place. It's coming from a place of, I'm mean, I hate you. And let's see how the next five minutes goes. Yeah, shall we? Like that's, that's the, the pretty Patel smile. Um, and so when, when she was found guilty of this bullying accusation, uh, and it was found that she had broken the ministerial code. Now, normally that would be a sacking offence. But Boris Johnson overruled that independent body and said, nah, I disagree. Right. So so fired for making secret business deals, um, found to be a bully that was so bad that a guy had a stroke. Um, what else? She's she's a home secretary, which means that she heads up the crime justice and I think some areas of procurement. Um, and she lost, she signed off on an IT project that lost 400,000 people's criminal records, right? So that's 400,000 people now that we used to know that they'd done some dodgy shit and now we just don't know. So we're at the mercy of whether or not they choose to volunteer that information if they're ever apprehended again. Have you ever been in trouble with the police before? No. Yeah, okay, that checks out. It's, you know... Like, how can you be Home Secretary and sign off on an IT project that loses 400,000 people's criminal records? You're the head of crime and justice and you lose half a million people's criminal records. How can you not have to resign after that? That's fucking amazing. It's like, I once sent an email to the wrong place, right? 
I've talked about this before on a different episode. I once sent one wrong email to the wrong place and I got fucking disciplinary procedure and put on a performance improvement plan for it. Like and that that is a performance improvement plan is basically like your employer saying this is what it feels like when your employer wants to terminate you. This is that feeling that you've got in your stomach, the numbness at the moment. Yeah, that is that's how this feels. You we want you out. We want you fired, but we're going to drag this like that how is it possible that I can end up in that situation from sending one wrong email? But the Home Secretary cannot get fired for losing half a million people's criminal records. It's fucking amazing. Like, whose dick is she sucking to keep her job? And I mean that, like, like I said that on the on a TikTok video uh, this morning, and I got a couple of comments back saying, uh, look, I was with you until the misogynistic shit at the end when you said about the dick sucking. And, um, you know, you don't need to resort to that. That is just... Uh, you know, we know that she's done wrong. We know she's dodgy, but she's a woman in position of power. And by saying that kind of stuff, Aid, actually what you're doing is empowering misogynist. But I'm, I don't, like, initially I was like, yeah, do you know what? Maybe that was a bit, it, it, like it was morning, I was, it was 6 a.m. I was super tired and, uh, you know, a bit incredulous. And I, I just, yeah. But now I'm thinking about it. I'm like, I would probably say the same thing about Matt Hancock. You know, if he, it, well, he is keeping his job in light of dodginess, but, in that in the same sort of video i would be like whose fucking dick is he sucking like if this is not an attack on women this is an attack on people who miraculously keep their job and the only possible explanation for it is that they are emptying the balls of whoever's in charge